is set up. Understood? Of course. I will call Mr. Farm as soon as... Nina and Nikki. They're waiting at the playground. Oh. Hey, uh, I'm not joining you guys. I'm meeting my friends. What? You know we're having dinner with the Shellys, right? You don't have to come if you don't want to. Yeah, uh, maybe next time. Say hi to James for me. Sure. See what I mean? What are you gonna do? Frog march him to dinner? It's better that he goes and meets up with these friends that he's doing NS with anyways. So respect is having boundaries. Hmm. What else did Ananya say? Basically, how we all need to leave the past in the past. <laughs> well, we know who wears the pants in the relationship. Maybe she should take the Shelley clan in hand. Don't be stupid. Ananya may be the CEO of KSUH. We still can't have her calling the shots, even if she marries James. Take charge. Decisive. A matriarch in the making. I've trained her well. Trust you to make it all about you. Well, be nice to the Balas. Let's hope Kenneth's forgotten how you pulled the plug on his company. Leave that to me. Until they write in front of the Solemnizer, we need them on board so she doesn't change her mind about James. The work never ends. The drugs should keep her relaxed for now. Thank you. Sure. Do you know what could have caused her sudden outburst? She got upset when I told her that this would be her last visit with Chihomi. She didn't want to leave and just snapped. She must have been confused by that. Dementia, right? How's Ibu? She's fine. Resting. Help me. Hermie wants to go. Hermie wants to go. Do you like it? Don't forget your manners. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, we're down one today. Nathan couldn't make it. That's okay. More for us, as Dad likes to say. Oh, Nina, I didn't mean to leave you out. Oh, I've always wanted these earphones, thank you. You really shouldn't have. It's just something small. Uh, what is she doing? You don't recognize bribery? Madame CEO. Grandma, why are you giving them presents? Because it's polite to exchange gifts when meeting friends. Are they giving me something back? They are taking my auntie and Nanya away. <laughs> you hear that, James? You better take good care of our Ananya or there'll be consequences. I'll make sure he does. <laughs> Excuse me, I need the ladies. Oh, uh, stop staring. He blames Emily for being unfaithful, but it's okay for him to be with Ananya. Can you please don't catch out the Shelleys? Leave James alone. He doesn't want me to have Emily. And I'm supposed to let him be happy with Ananya? Oh, God. Don't you dare. What? I can't go there and congratulate him? And give him a vaccine surprise? You don't want to do that. Oh, I have every right to take her back. You're not Maxine's father, legally speaking. I can do a DNA test. Prove that Maxine is my daughter. Are you sure you want to go down that path? risk your marriage and the wrath of your in-laws. Marilyn already knows about my past with Emily. 
and she still married me. She's willing to do anything to have a child with me, even a dog. Now, if she knows that Maxine is my daughter, I think she'll love her. Your mother will never agree. You gave your word not to claim Maxine, didn't you? That was in the past. My ma didn't think I could give Maxine a good life. But now I can, and even better than you, Shelley's. You still need Emily's consent. Has she agreed yet? Oh, I forgot. She's been missing for a year and nowhere to be found. That means I'm Maxine's only real parent left. Maxine loves James. She will never go with you. Oh, you want a bet? Don't be too smart for your own good. How oh, uh, you're going to tell James? Well, I think dinner went well, all things considered. Well, to my parents' credit, they managed to make it through dinner without being themselves. Mm, especially your mother. The whole time I was thinking, no way. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Oh, of all people. Ananya, how what are you? What do you do? <laughs> Sorry, you first. Uh, how have you been? Great. Hi. So, you guys are finally together? <laughs> yeah. Are you still with the heart? Sorry, I'm your friend. It's good to see you. James! No way. Uh, hey, uh, Marie. Mm. Fancy bumping into you here. Oh. oh, you've moved on. Nice power move. We should catch up sometime. Bye. Okay, that was weird. Maybe it's just coincidence or... Whoa, hey! What is it? Those guys? I, uh, I dated both of them. What, at the same time? I was 17. I look like good friends now. Yeah, they became friends after they caught me two-timing them. Okay, is this some kind of crazy reality TV hidden camera? Or... Your ex this time? Let's get out of here. You came back, huh? Is it true what Hawk said? You want Maxine back? I am Maxine's real grandmother. Nothing wrong if I want to take her back. You have Dawn. Hawk can always give you another grandchild. But I only have Maxine. Magdalene can't get pregnant. You made a promise. Hawk is Maxine's real father. James is not. As far as Maxine is concerned, he is her father. Have you considered the impact you'll have on her if you take that away? You surely broke up my family, forced you to cut ties with us. We were also her only family. Take me to kill me. I want to hold his hand before he goes. We'll talk tomorrow. Just close your eyes and rest, okay? Have uh, the doctors check on jail me? Any updates? Not that I know of. Why? Ibu said jail me moved his hand. Oh, I'll check with his doctors, but don't say anything to his family until we're sure. For all we know, Ibu made a mistake. We don't want to get their hopes up for nothing. Hey, had fun? Yeah, I had a great time chatting with Uncle Edgy. Oh. I was a little nervous about NS, and I'm not sure what to expect. Then I remembered that Uncle Ajay used to be a physical combat trainer in NS. So I decided to approach him, and he gave me a lot of useful tips. Great. Fabulous. So, what insights did our great NS Meister offer? Well, he mentioned that 
being physically fit was a game changer for him in NS. Game changer. As if he was a big shot in his platoon. Yeah. He said he won the respect of the whole company when he could do 100 push-ups consecutively without breaking a sweat. OK, that's pretty awesome. So I will be upping my workout intensity from tomorrow. Nathan, listen. Survival in NS requires more than just physical endurance. When you're exhausted and thirsty and, and feel like dying, <laughs> it's what's up here that's going to keep you going. <laughs> Says the Wimpy Clark. How did you get in? I left the door open for Uncle Ajay. I thought he'll be coming up soon after parking his car. What took you so long? I'm going to get desserts. Last chance before your diet tomorrow. Right. I will go get the drinks. Hello. <clears throat> NS is no joke, okay? It's a tough place. I don't want you misleading Nathan with your bad advice. What bad advice? Like, do whatever you want but don't get caught. You want him to test the system and, and risk getting caught? And that being physically fit equals a good life in NS. That's a fallacy. Yeah, right. Spoken like a true OCS cadet. Oh, wait. You didn't make it to OCS. You were a cluck. I could have if I wanted to. <laughs> you couldn't even do a proper pull-up to save your life. Come on, Kenneth, just admit it. You're jealous of me. Me? Jealous of what? My athletic prowess. You got annoyed whenever your mom gushed about my NS accomplishments. Bull crap. You have nothing that I want. Nathan is my son, okay? Leave the NS talk to me. Here you go. What were you guys talking about? The merits of being posted to admin. AKA the Slacker Unit. Got it. Okay. Bye. Abon called. He said Ibu had a meltdown at the hospital and had to be sedated. Did Zari mention what triggered the meltdown? She just said Ibu got aggressive. Can you go to GFBH and see if Zari needs help? But he didn't say he needed help. I'm sure he does. The last time that Ibu had a meltdown, I had a hard time coming her down. He will need support. She sedated, right? Anyway, I... I, I can't. I've got urgent deadlines to meet. And I'm way behind. I can't just drop everything. <laughs> you stubble me. You. You should thank me. If people found out what you did, you'd be in jail. I'm doing what Hilmi wanted. He wanted you to murder him? Who's going to beg your claims? She healed me, is in a coma. Which is as good as dead. I could have ended his suffering if, if not for you. Do you know what jail is, Ibu? I do. Or if you're lucky, they'll send you to a mental institution. I'm not even sure which is worse. Is that what you want? I'm trying to protect you, Ibu. Please do as I say for once. Stop talking about letting she help me go. No one can know what you did today. What happened in there never happened. You hear me, Ibu? You think it's a sign? Of what? I don't know. It's just running into not one, but all of our exes in one night. What are the odds of that? So what do you think the universe is trying to tell us? Uh, that I'm the problem. Maybe none of my past serious relationships worked out because I'm not wired for relationships. And so uh, this one with me is just another notch on your failed relationship belt? Is that, that what you're saying? I didn't say that. I don't sound very optimistic. <laughs> I'm just being realistic. 
You honestly swear you've never had doubts about us. That's not the point. Well, then what is? I mean, doubts are the reason why we danced around each other for years. Sounds like you still have doubts. So do you. I don't project your doubts on me. You're the one with all the commitment issues. You're the one who's always running away. <laughs> well, who's the one who takes commitment so lightly that he simply marries a woman he doesn't love? I spoke with Chi Hermes doctors. The hand twitch able witness could be spinal reflexes. So Chi Hermes condition remains the same? Yes, but not in a good way. We don't know if he'll ever wake up. To be honest, when Ibu saw Chi Hermes in a coma, she couldn't accept it. She started saying stuff like she killed him or something. I think she's feeling guilty for not getting help sooner. It would have made a difference. Every second after a stroke counts. Chi Hermi might not be in a coma right now if she had acted. We shouldn't have let Ibu see Chi Hermi. Never imagined her dementia would be so bad. So she's imagining things now. How did she deteriorate so fast? That's the thing. She's been active all her life and suddenly... Yeah, but sometimes uh, you're saying that she's okay, right? Yes, but those days are getting fewer and fewer. And the bad days? They last longer and longer. That is why I was hoping that you can give Zara some time here and there to help Zarin at GFBH. Sure. I know she has an urgent project. Of course. Yeah. I'll see what I can do. I suggest we keep her here tonight and discharge your mother tomorrow. What about when she gets home? She hasn't been sleeping well. Frankly, it's been hard managing her. Well, you should discuss this with her geriatrician. I'll get him to call you. Perhaps he'll prescribe something to help her sleep or he might offer you some other options. Okay. You want to tell me what's going on? Tell you what? Rose told me you have urgent deadlines. That's why you can't go to the hospital to help out. Relax, I didn't say anything. But why did you lie? I just don't want to see my mother that way, okay? I just can't. I know what's happening is crap, but you just got to deal with it. I know it's not the same, but you know how my mom drives me crazy half the time? And now with this whole Julius faux split, forcing me to be communicated between one supposed adult and my ex-classmate who treats me like he's 20 years my senior? I know. I know. You shouldn't have come. You must be so tired. Why do you have to tie her up? It's good you didn't see her earlier. It was heartbreaking. She looks so calm now. I thought it would do Chi good to visit Chi Hermi. I never expected her to react this way. It's never going to happen again. We can try. She will insist. We will run out of excuses to stop her. I spoke with a geriatrician. She's prescribed something to help her sleep and regulate her mood swings. Will that be good for her in the long run? What's the alternative? Her walking around at night, up and down the stairs, she might fall and hurt herself. We can't monitor her 24-7. No one can. What? You're outside. Nathan let me in on his way out. What are you doing here? I'm not here to apologize because I don't think I did anything wrong. Oh, so I did something wrong? I don't want to argue over who's right and who's wrong. 
Then why are you here? I made a promise to myself that if I am ever with the love of my life, I'm not going to let us go to bed angry. So I'm here to fix this. How? We'll talk, we'll, we'll thrash it out until we stop being angry, but I'm not walking away. I'm not cutting people off. Long time no see. Yes, it's, uh, it's been a while. Glad you know that. After months of no contact, the first thing you say to me when you called is to ask for a favor. I know. I owe you one. How did you manage to find the rest of Ananya and James's exes? And better yet, get them to dance to your tune? So tell me, what have I missed since I've been gone? <laughs> Something tells me you already know, and this is just fact-checking. What are you up to, Charles? She is the president of the Young Women Entrepreneurs. It would be good for you to meet her. I'm not sure. I have this fundraising luncheon and then cocktails in the evening for this other fundraising group. Jessica, leave yoga alone. How is she ever going to get any work done? Sarah, you of all people should know the importance of networking. It's not what you do, it's who you know. Do you actually manage to get any work done at all between these hobnobbing sessions? I have to bring a lot of work home and finish up at night. But Jessica is right. It's important. So I'll let Janela know that you meet her? Yeah, sure. 